Hello, Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into your tarot reading. We're going to be looking at the person who's going to change your life. Super excited to be doing this reading for you guys. Um, I'll be using a couple of decks and we'll see what comes up in terms of how this person will change your life when it comes to love. So we'll see what we can learn about them and how that change will come about, of course. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe to the channel. Um, really would appreciate it. Otherwise, let's jump into the reading and see what's coming up around this person. The one that will change your life. Okay, so you have a very special person that's coming in here, Fire Signs. So we've got a true gem connection. So you've got someone who is really going to be a gem in your life, okay? So they've got very genuine qualities to them. It's someone who's very genuine and someone who's very sincere. So beautiful intentions that's coming through here of what this person will want with you. So pretty genuine, okay? So that's really good. We're seeing pure intentions here, okay? So um, I feel like this person has an element of freedom. So I feel like they're a bit of a free spirit, okay? They're a bit easygoing. Could be more spiritual here um, as well. We've got money. So you've got someone who's coming from money. Now, this could be someone you meet through career, or somehow money making comes into the picture here. Could be someone who's loaded, all right? Someone who's got a lot of money. It could be someone you meet through money somehow. Could come from a family of money. Could be quite well established, I have to say, okay? So I feel like it's someone who's quite well off, quite privileged, yet they appear to be humble, okay? Freedom is that humbleness that we're seeing. Um, so this is fantastic. What else do we have? So... I feel like this person, I feel like they're the real deal, okay? So I feel like some of you may have some sort of friendship with this person beforehand and then you sort of develop into something more. It could start off with a friendship because freedom is like you're not attached to this person or not yet anyway. So for a lot of you, this person is currently in your friend zone. So you know them, you're connected, maybe they're on your social media, maybe they're mutual friends with you. But there is like this, you know them, yet you're not attached to them. So it makes me feel like you haven't had something romantic with them before. It could be someone completely new. Or it's like a friend and they've been such a good friend to you. They've been there to support you. Um, you know, they've picked up the phone when you've called at 3 a.m. They've helped you out of troubles. They've lent you money. You know, it could even be that. Um, you've even might have even taken a trip with them here with a freedom card. So... Yeah, I feel like it's it's someone who's available, though. It's like a friend who's available. So I get that this person isn't, like, tied down to anything right now. So I wouldn't say that a commitment is coming up next to them. So, yeah, they, they could be single. They could be single and looking. But I get the fact that you're not attached. So it makes me think it, it's a it's friend more than anything. We've got this beautiful gem here. So I wonder if this is like telling me this person is going to uh, want to marry you or want to get engaged to you. Some of you, it's like you'll get engaged to this person fairly quickly. Uh, and I feel like you'll you'll want to move things on, um, move things along in that regard. Mm, how exciting. Okay, so... You might have had a run-in with this person. Seven of Swords, they could work with deception, fraudulent activity, criminology, policing. Uh, it could be that they've, you know, there's like this tippy-toe energy. You might be sort of uh, tippy-toeing around this person or they might be tippy-toeing around you. It's almost like they like you and they have this intention for you, but they haven't made a move as yet. And maybe the move is still yet to come. But this sort of tippy-toeing, looking back... It could be someone that's been in trouble before somehow. Maybe you guys had a falling out. Uh, underneath it all, I feel like they are genuine. So I don't know what this Seven of Swords is. 
maybe it's like I feel like it's more pointing out that you guys have tippy toed around each other. So I feel like some contact or some something has been made here. So it makes me feel like some sort of contact has been made between the both of you, between you guys, uh, and this tippy toeing energy. It could be a player, okay? It could be for some of you, like you have a friend, sort of a player, okay? Has a lot of women, has a lot of guys. It could be this person as well. But underneath it all, they're a good person, you know, they don't, they they wouldn't like exude these qualities that they're super bad or anything. I just think that they know how to handle people and they know how to be strategic when they want to be. Um, but I feel like you'll settle with them, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, they're going to give you a lot. This is a very generous energy. So they'll give, that they're very giving, they'll give you time energy, money, you know, they could give you a lot of gifts as well. Um, but I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, I get wealth around them. I do. I also feel like they're at an age where they want to settle down and who better to settle down with, you know, than you. But I feel like, you know, massive changes with the Wheel of Fortune. I, I definitely see more financial blessings coming into your life with this person. So they're really going to change your life in that regard. Um, but this is about divine timing. They're also going to help you walk away from some problems here with the devil. Devil's down the bottom, chariots up the top. So they're going to help you overcome something here. Could be an addiction. Uh, it could be insecurities. It could be bad habits, bad patterns. You know, you've been picking the wrong guy, picking the wrong girl. Suddenly this person comes in and you've never seen anything clearer, right? So that's pretty special in itself. Hmm. Or they're going to come into your life at a very particular time where lots of things are changing, where there's already lots of, um, Lots of transformation that you may be seeing in your life already and then they'll come in they'll give you children a happy family home how special yeah okay i feel like they will do that here for you um family is is coming up very very strong so a strong sense of this this family kind of energy um, might be new additions to the family might be marriage remarriage creating a family home again um, but I think they'll give you that I think they'll give you a lot of that and eight of ones it's almost like your life is gonna sort of level up so somehow they're gonna help you move up in the world in status, in money, in career, you're going to join a new world, a new social circle. It's But I get this like leveling up. It's like coming into this new world, this new kind of energy. I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll really, really like it. Um, but they're going to give you like this base with the Ten of Cups. Now, your, your family and your friends might really come to love this person. They could be in the community now, like I get this mutual friends. They could easily be, you know, in your community where you're at. They could easily be around you. So have a think here, fire signs. Have a good, long, hard think. Hmm, who this person could be. I feel like they do have feelings for you, but you've sort of friend zoned them. Um... Or I feel like that you you guys have never been available at the same time together. You've always either been in other relationships or you've been doing your own thing. It's almost like fate, time, space has never put the two of you together in a relationship. But that's about to change because that Wheel of Fortune is coming in. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's going to that's gonna really draw you guys in. And you'll be able to bond through that and what a way they'll change your life. So, so powerful here, Fire Signs. I will leave it at that. I do want to thank you for watching this reading. It really does mean a lot. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get uh, updates for when readings for your sign or your element or Divine Masculine or Divine Femme readings come out to the channel as well. So um, keep, uh, keep an eye out for those. Thank you again, everyone. Much love and 